Hey Jaco, so in today's video, this is what we'll do. I'll show you how to convert subtitles into titles using this tool. You'll go to Resolve Scripts and I'll leave the link down below. You'll want to go to 2.51, click on Releases and select any of the release, Linux, Mac or Windows. I'll use the Windows one and download it. And as you can see, it is quite big. Now once it's downloaded, you'll have to unpack it. So I'll make a new folder and call it Tequito. I made a typo here. Put everything inside this folder and you don't need to resolve and resolve in Japanese inside. If it's not, then you won't be able to use this plugin. Now we'll have to launch it and this is the launcher. As you can see, it has a bunch of extra options that you can use and you'll need to use the Resolve Launcher to launch it. But before you do, launch the Vinci Resolve separately. Go to Workspace Console and you'll want to drag the green DND icon into the Resolve Console. So get this path all set up and once you do, you'll have to close it. And you may need to close it a bunch of times and I'll show you why. But to use it, you'll have to go to Workspace and Scripts and if you don't close it, you can't actually use it. So now I've relaunched it and click on Resolve to launch it again. And in this case, you can see we have a bunch of tools that we can use, but I'll just show you one and it is inside Scripts. The comp is for a Fusion composition if you're inside the Fusion page. But if you're inside the edit page, you won't actually see the edit section, you'll just see the RS section. And the tool that we'll use is the subtitle to text plus. Now I have this clip set up. I'll just make a subtitle. If you have the studio version, you can do this automatically. Otherwise, you'll have to use one of the tools online that you can also make subtitles for free. So you have the subtitles and the subtitles look a little bit plain. Now you can make some changes, but the changes that you can make to subtitles are basic. And what do I mean by basic? Well, you can just change the font and anything that has to do with the font. So you can just change the look. So you can go to the track and you can affect the whole subtitle track. And you can also change the individual subtitles, but you can only change the look you can change the feel, which is the animation. And that is what this tool does. It changes the feel. So in this case, I'll just use the text plus node and see if I can make this work. So we'll go to workspace, scripts, subtitle to text plus. It takes a little bit time to show up. So inside here, we have a bunch of options. First, we have to lock the audio and video tracks so they don't get cut. Now here we have the subtitle that we can choose. I only have one, so that is subtitle one. But for video, the text plus is on video track too. So that is what you have to use. And you can also change the color after the text is cut to the color that you want to have. And then you press convert. But in this case, nothing happened. Now you can click on the shortcuts and see if the shortcuts actually work. So you can press the test and these are the default shortcuts. So when I use Ctrl B as a test, it does not work, but I can do it manually. So if that happens to you, you'll have to restore the Vinci Resolve again and maybe also close the Tequito tools. And if you go to the bottom left, you can actually choose the English language. So we can launch it again and now we'll see some translations which makes it a lot easier and you can double check if the paths are correctly set. Now let's go to Resolve, try this again, Workspace, Scripts and Subtitle to Text Plus. I have to set the video again and click Convert. Now in this case I've used a different title, it's not a Text Plus and this is doing it in real time. This is not sped up. How fast this is done? 
probably depends on your existing specs. In my case, I've done this on my old PC. So a Ryzen 5 2600 and a GTX 1060. And as you can see, the clip color changes to pink as I have selected. And as you've seen, the text that wasn't changed has been deleted. Now we can disable the subtitles and I'll also mute the clip and we can play it. And in this case, the title that I've used is not really good because the animation of it is too slow. So we can change it. Maybe I'll use this one because it has an animation constantly applied. And let's just do this again. Maybe I'll change the fusion composition a bit. So it affects the whole text, not just a section of it. So it looks something like this. And we can also test if the shortcuts work. As you can see, they do. Now, if you click convert and the playhead is at the end, nothing will happen. So you have to position the playhead at the beginning. And this is now sped up eight times. So this is how the result can look like but you should probably use snappier titles. Now you can go to workspace console. If the shortcut test is not working, this is red because I've used previously the titles and I don't have all of the fonts. You should clear everything, but when you make a test, if you see anything pop up, take a note what that is, so maybe you can try and fix it. In my case, it showed up this path to the location of the init.py file and it told me that the window cannot be active. I thought that I have to change the DaVinci Resolve to DaVinci Resolve Studio because I have the studio version, but that was not the case, so I simply left it as is. So as you can see, when you make a test, if it works, it will make the cut. And this is the author of the tool, Tekito. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel and also his tool. You have a bunch of videos on what you can actually do. Now you can do a lot of different things with the tool. I haven't tested it out yet, but in this case, this is a PSD file that is split into different layers. So the character can be moving up and down, left and right, and you can adjust the amplitude and the frequency. But you can also adjust the mouth shape. As I mentioned, the plugin is quite huge and I haven't tested it out completely, but if you need to animate characters and also have an automatic mouse sync, I think this is the plugin for you. But if you need a different approach for mouth sync animation inside DaVinci Resolve, I also have a couple of videos on that. And if you found this video helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon and until next time Jackal, keep it digital.